G'day traders and welcome to the first episode of our podcast with the Barter Blokes. I'm Brian and this is Ray. He's Aussie and I'm Kiwi and over the coming weeks we look at and discuss Barter the world's largest business to business trade exchange. We also catch up with some of the members in the network and some of the staff that are in business. So stick around as we explore the world of Barter Thank you for joining us today. Today, we will talk about what is Bartercard. Brian, what is Bartercard? Well, I'm glad you brought that up, Ray. Um, I've actually been talking to a few people around the building in the last couple of days leading up to the podcast. I've been trying to ask people what their one-liner, their tagline would be about it. Got a couple of interesting ones. A few of note would be a club for business owners. Um, Just simply endless possibilities. Mm -hmm. I didn't mind that one because... If you put your mind to it, there's not much you can't do. Um, my favorite one personally has always been um, living above your means. So to me, it just gives you the ability to do that little bit extra. If you wanted to spend a bit more money on your marketing budget, you can use your barter card account for that. Mm, mm. I guess on my side of things, um, connecting businesses with people, people connecting people and connecting businesses. Um, that's it in a nutshell for, you know, on my side of things. Yep. Um, now, just a quick one as well. Why would someone want to use Bartercard? Right. So I suppose the easiest way to start off with that is why do I use Bartercard? And mm-hmm. given that I'm not just an employee, I have a Bartercard account as well. Use my account all the time. And that's paid for everything from my car I'm driving to ev- nearly every appliance in our kitchen <laughs> over the last couple of years. Meals, vets. My sister just got the dog looked to it at a vet the other day. She couldn't afford to pay for it. Big brothers come to the party. I don't get to do that a lot. So it's I always good. <laughs> it's always good when, uh, you know, you can kind of help out yep. in family situations and things. Makes you look good. Uh, and just like, yeah, th- just giving you that extra ability. Um, my little brother, when he was setting up his mechanic shop, uh, just starting out, two kids at home, single dad, starting his shop up, had no money. We got the local signage company did all his signs. We got business cards printed, flyers, uh, all the line marking and all the safety equipment and everything. Yeah. Set him up. That saved him a fortune and he's going great guns. Have you had any, like, um, you know, uh, experience with the businesses that you work with and, you know, some of the areas that they've actually um, utilised their barter card as well? Yeah, 100%. So, um, well, I've got a coffee company. And he started off as a franchisee, and I'm sure if he ever hears this, he won't mind me telling a few inside inside stories. But um, started off as a franchisee for another coffee company. They weren't looking after him. So through some rebranding, uh, using a graphic designer, getting his website redone and everything, he was able to relaunch in, under his own name and under his own brand. Mm-hmm. And over the last couple of years, he started taking over the southeast Queensland uh, any of the tra- trade coordinators out there would know exactly who I'm talking about because they'd be sick of hearing about him. But that's a whole other thing. But yeah, he's been able to build that business up from nothing using his barter card, doing sales. All his marketing budget is 100% barter card. Yeah, yeah. That's just, that's the same as me. I mean, I've got um, you know a few members that have u- uh, used barter card, especially on the marketing side of things. And you know, being able to actually increase their budget, they, they might have a cash budget that they actually work with, but having just that extra, you know, with barter card and stuff like that, it allows them to, you know, to kind of expand on marketing opportunities. And I think that's one of the, the best things about, you know, being part of the actual network itself is that the opportunities and the possibilities, as you said, you know, when we first started, is yep. it's endless, basically. That's right. If, if you put your mind to it, you can get anything done. And that is one thing as well, you know, not only just putting your mind to it, but being able to um, um, Think be proactive as well yeah. in the actual... Look you at know. the other options as well. Think differently. Exactly, yeah. exactly. It is, you do have to be very creative in Bartercard, and, and by doing that, it actually allows you to explore all of those opportunities that are actually out there um, and find different ways to actually get them through, yeah? 100%. And uh, I I suppose uh, while we're talking about how you use Bartercard, I said a bit about how I use it in my personal life, but you've got a bit of a unique perspective there being a dad. And uh, I just want to see if you throw a few. Well, you know, with with me and my family, I have four kids. Um, 
you know, 22, four kids. (laughs) 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 But, you know, four kids and I've been able to share, you know, uh, like create memories, not share, but create memories just by utilizing Bardicard. We went to New Zealand for a holiday and when we were there, um, you know, I was able to actually utilize Bardicard and (coughs) take three families actually up to the mountain we went snowboarding i got all the gear on on um on trade and you know that comes from boots to the boards to the skis to the pants and the jacket and you know just creating those those lifelong memories for my kids and bite card being behind all of that you know there was another situation where i've taken family out for dinners as well um I've utilized it with some of my, well, with my oldest son, um, being able to actually buy a, like a, what's it called? Uh, like a TENS machine. Yep. Um, and that, you know, he's a sports player and stuff like that. So it helps with. I got one of those the other day. Thank you for that. You know, it helps with, um, you know, those sort of things there where he's, you know, injuries, muscle injuries and things. So he's been able to utilize Bardicard for his side of things, you know, just to, to kind of keep at peak performance with with footy and and everything so yeah that's it has definitely allowed my family to create a lifestyle um you know of memories and things yeah and it's interesting you talk about the tens machine as well because that just reminds me like just my basic script is anyone knows me knows i'm a little bit broken but um take some medication regularly my scripts are all on trade through one of the local brisbane chemists Mm. Um, and that's all there, ready for pickup and that. So that's one thing I don't have to worry about having cash for. Because I've got my barter card there, and it's paid up in advance. So yeah. I, know, I know that's ready to go when I need it. Definitely. Um, Dad's sleep CPAP machine as well, same chemist. And that's given my stepmom many a restful night, because my dad is the biggest power snorer you ever meet in your life. <laughs> yeah. Hey, um, on that as well, like as we're talking about, you know, why would... Um, someone use barter card and things like that what are the uh what are the what's the Reasons word I'm looking so as, yeah. a, as a business owner so uh i deal with a lot of clients that have a lot of let's just call it what it is crap sitting in the garage or um things that they haven't been able to move in that as well mm. and uh one man's trash is another one's treasure as i've always been brought up as and you'd be surprised how something you've had sitting in the shed for 10 years someone's been looking for for eight of them yeah and just by moving that stock around and that as well um restaurants so i've got a burger chain i look after in brisbane who's busy on a friday and saturday night the rest of the week the four restaurants are kind of just floundering mm. trying to keep themselves above water but by bringing the barter card in it brings a few extra bodies in so you're driving past and you see the empty fish and chip shop or the burger shop that's got 10 people, you're going to go check the burger shop out. Yeah, definitely, Absolutely. definitely. Yeah. I've actually just got uh, someone just trying to call in and things like that. I'm not too sure how to answer this, but uh, I'll just give them a, I'll call you back. That's the way. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, don't they know it's <coughs> podcast time. <laughs> yeah, exactly. <laughs> <laughs> but, uh, you know, on my side of things as well, like why would you want to use Bardicard? Um, look, I've I've had a new member that's come on board. He owns a restaurant, and um, he he knows a little bit about Bartercard. He used to be a staff member in Bartercard, and he's using Bartercard to actually create wealth. And you know, one of the areas that he's looking at using it in is yes, he's using it in the restaurant area, but he's actually got a bigger plan, and the bigger plan is in the real estate side of things, and. You know, the amount of deals that are actually available out there when someone is actually very proactive, um, the opportunities that he has created just for himself, um, you know, to create that wealth or that that portfolio, that investment portfolio, and us being, you know, behind the whole thing, it's it's definitely an eye-opener on my side of things, even though I've been in Bardicard for seven years. Um, you it know, to see someone me all the time. That's right. CA. That's right. Yeah. To see someone that actually does that, you know, you look at these guys and you kind of go, um, "Did you just want to come into the actual office and uh, show us how you actually put that all together?" You yeah. know, because there, there are a lot of people that are, you know, probably not 
as experienced as myself and yourself and things like that. But even though when I look at it, you know, when I look at it myself, I've been there seven years and he's doing things that I want to do, you know, and I think it's just a matter of actually jumping out of that comfort zone and us and us actually doing it. But how? You know, he's got the formula and things like that. So I'm pretty keen to, you know, learn off the members as well. But I mean, yeah, that's that's another reason why you would use it to create a portfolio, to create a build your wealth. Build yeah. your wealth. Exactly. And you touched on something there as well, is you learnt from him. Like talking to him as well. That's another big thing I've picked up on is I'm talking to hundreds of business owners a week. All of n- like it's very rare that two of them are in the same same industry, mm. and it's even rarer that they're doing the same thing in the same industry. Like no two business owners are ever the same, yeah. and they've all got their own take on it and their own twist on it. And then I might have a suggestion for them, but then I'll throw a question over to you across the room, and you'll have a completely different perspective on the exact same thing. Yeah, yeah. And it's just crazy how much you can learn about things. Like That's right. That's right. I mean. There's another member that I, you know, I guess we, we're we sharing some third-party stories now um, because that's where, you know, all the gold is really yeah. in, in, in third-party stories and how members in Bartercard have actually utilised Bartercard to create wealth, to, you know, build their business, um, to have a better lifestyle and things like that. And one of the things that I'm working on at the moment is with the property developer and the property developer has kind of been real quiet and over the last few years. He has still been part of the actual network, but, you know, it takes one phone call for us to actually connect. Yep. And then from that connection, you know, he's given me an opportunity to actually put out a couple of uh, properties on his side of things. Basically, moving that as quick as possible has allowed for him to actually see the opportunity as a quick sale for next for the next ones. So he's opened it up. He's given me a little bit more now to actually go with. But on that side of things, he's now looking, okay, what does Bartercard have that I can actually offset when I'm create when I'm building my next development? Yeah, to make more cream off the top of it. Exactly. So now we've we got to that point now where I've you know, I've touched base with you, I've touched base with a couple of others in the in the in the state itself yep. just to kind of get a feel for, you know, what members are out there that would be keen to actually help. Now let's say that, you know, he's got a budget of I'm throwing numbers out there, these numbers aren't correct or anything like that, but let's say it's a hundred million for the development itself. Now, if we could get twenty percent of that done on barter card, that's a twenty million dollar, you know, cash offset that you get to keep that he gets to keep back in his pocket and he can u- utilize that on other things that he wants to do. You know, and those those are the things there where I don't know many people that'd say no to that. Exactly. Exactly. Twenty million dollars. To be able to put that back in your actual business, keep that in your pocket. Yeah. And just the feedback I've been getting from just talking to tradies, wanting to like just getting them to be a part of that and mm. quoting on the job and that as well and the unique opportunity. Because it's hard for them in the cash world. Yeah. But yeah. being a barter card member has given them the opportunity to quote on a job they wouldn't get a look in at. That's right. That's right. And that is that is that is key. That is definitely key on that side of things is where, you know, they, the members, it, it is just like, it's a network, it's it's almost like a warm market for you. Um, you know, being on barter card, you've actually got a foot in the door if you play the game right. That's right. You know what I mean? Like, we've got to, you've got to be fair in your pricing and things like that. One thing I've noticed in seven years is if you do the wrong thing by a member, they will tell everyone they know and you get a name for yourself. Very true. Very true. Yeah. But the ones doing right get the same name. Yeah. Yeah. And they'll always be recommended. And the, the beauty of that one is if you're happy with someone, you're not just telling your barter card members and your barter card friends, you're telling your cash clients mm. and your cat, your friend, like Jimmy that lives ne- next door about your mowing guy that did an amazing job. Yeah, exactly. Exactly. No, that's, yeah. I mean, how else would we use barter card? How, uh, why, why would. You want to use Barter Card. W- w- have you got anything else in, the, in that <laughs> book of goodies there? Bo- little book of goodies. <laughs> um, so I suppose some of the other th- the other things we'd be doing about is like um, we were talking about it from the insider's point of view. We touched on a few uh, you spending as a dad and from a parent's point of view. Yep. Started sharing some stories about like clients and that as well. Yep. But I think that's where the benefit of this is for the listeners out there and for the traders is hearing some stories about what 
people like themselves have done. Yes, yeah, exactly. And we've all heard those classic third party stories and that as well. Um, winning big contracts is a is a great one for those of you who don't have it. If you're a tradie and you're co- you're quoting against other tradies, and you find out the person you're quoting with is a barter card member, you've got a whole heap of power. But if they're not, you've also got the power to take a percentage of your invoice in their goods or services, tickets, whatever their business is. They, if it's a car yard, take part of your payment in a car. Like, I don't know, I'm just spitballing here. But you can effectively take part of the payment from your contract in whatever their goods or services are and be able to out quote someone else by taking a reduced cash book. Cash portion, yes, exactly. And then you can obviously flip that pe- that piece into the cash market or... Yeah. Flip it to us and we'll sell it. That's right, that's right. So there's uh, yeah, various opportunities. And I think my one of my favourite things about this is because I come from a hospitality background and one thing that I've always hated working in the pub game and that, two for one Tuesdays and cheap steak nights. Yeah, yeah. And we're taking the most expensive product on the menu... And putting it in a ten dollar meal and farming it out there to everyone, to have none of those people come back any other night That's of the right. week until it's ten bucks again. You know, it's funny because we were we were watching that um, video yesterday on um, how barter card works. Do you remember that? Yeah. And in that actual video itself, it did actually say like, you know, instead of um, discounting and you know, getting. Uh, what is it called, discounting and going to some of those other Groupons and things like that, you know, there's an opportunity to actually bring in the business and not have to discount that. You know, by discounting it, you're minimizing your profits. You actually have to sell more just to actually, you know, kind of break even. There'll be a particular set of ears that'll perk up to this one, but I believe it's an additional sales channel. So barter card, it's a completely different sales channel that you wouldn't have had access to any other way. Yes. Those people are going to come see you just because you're a barter card member. And I find that. I actually see that, you know, like a lot of members out there, they do want to actually um, connect with a barter card member first before they actually go to the cash market. And, you know, on my side of things, when I'm talking to members, you know, I'm saying to them, look, let's just try this person, okay? Let's compare apples with apples. Uh, but realistically, it's a barter card apple versus the cash apple. I mean, they're still in the same industry, just different types of, of currency that they're using. And, you know, the the um, the response that you get from the members when they're saying, okay, let's go there first. And, and if it doesn't work, they're basically at square one. Mm-hmm. You know what I mean? So it's a good thing that way where it's like let's just try let's try it let's see if we can get a deal out of this and if we can get a deal out of it then we don't have to go cash if we don't get a deal out of it well we're at square one anyway and we're going to go cash well, i've even heard it on the flip side of that i've heard of um guy a guy getting a fencing contractor put up his fence the brand new colorbond fencing and that we didn't have a local member that could do the install and all the supply for him mm. he's got a local guy just happened to have gotten married, paid for his and his wife's honeymoon because they couldn't afford to pay for a honeymoon. So he's paid for the honeymoon on barter card. The guy's done a fence when he's got back from the honeymoon. Wow. Yeah. So he's got something he couldn't get on barter card on barter card. Yeah. Yeah. I remember doing something like that. Um, must have been about four years ago. I had a member ask me for a garage door. And... Um, you know, this is just being creative and things like that as well. This, you know, for you guys out there that are listening, there are these particular types of opportunities that you get to actually have a go at. I mean, the worst that's going to happen is you're going to end up paying cash, yeah. like I was just saying. But what actually happened is this this member had asked me, oh, I need a garage door. I was like, okay, well, let me see what we've got in the network. I couldn't find anything in the network. So I ended up calling around into the cash market and I spoke to a, 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 a company out in Helensvale, and these guys were like, oh, okay, what's th- what's the deal? And I said, well, look, I've got a guy who's part of uh, the Barter Card Network um, and is looking to get a door installed, and we're looking to do something like this, you know, we're looking to do something with you where we, we trade, you know, trade services rather than, and, you know, the guy was like, okay, what does he do? And I said, well, he basically does flooring. He said, well, I don't need flooring. And, I, and then I said to him, okay, so what else would you would you like? And at that point, he was actually looking at upgrading his website. 
and no. getting an app done. And I said, okay, well, we've got people in the network that are, that can actually do that. I said, what are you what are you looking for exactly? So he gave me all the details. I made a couple of calls around and found a guy that actually was a web developer and an app developer. And I said to him, okay, can we connect you with this guy here because this is the whole deal and everything like that. And he said, yeah, that's fine. So just to kind of cut a long story short, at the end of it, what I ended up doing was getting the door done for my member and my member paying for the website for the guy that put the door in. Gosh. And that, you know, that there was just, it was just off the back, really. It was one of those things where it's like, I'm just going to try it. And if it doesn't work, well, we're going to have to say, you're going to have to go cash. But in that instance there, it actually worked out. And it's one of those things there where you just kind of like look at it and you go, can actually do a lot with Bartercard. Yes. Yeah. And sometimes you get some crazy deals, eh? Yeah. Yeah, that's right. Stay tuned. We'll be coming up with some other uh, topics coming up. Um, check us out on YouTube. Check us out on Instagram under the Barter Blokes. We definitely are out there. Um, we're looking to help out everyone. But for now, thank you very much and goodbye. Goodbye, guys, and drop us a line. <laughs>